Hello, Assalamu alaikum. This is Meera Abdul Jahangir, and you are watching me on my YouTube channel that is Dr. Jahangir Khan. Well, today we are going to discuss a very important topic that is how would you interpret a chest x ray? Now, this is very important, and most of the time we do a lot of mistakes because we do not look into the preliminaries or the prerequisites of a chest x ray and we jump directly into the abnormality. So, right now, make it habit, if you are going to study an x-ray and you are interpret the findings in that x-ray, they must meet the four criteria. Because most of the time you see, there's a film and the film is having high level neuropathy. But the problem is, that is rotatory film. The rotatory film can give you high level neuropathy. Now, that is the, the problem with the technique of the x-ray, the quality of the x-ray, not the problem in the patient. The second is most of the time we see there is opacity in the right lower lobe, there is opacity bilaterally, but when you compare these results with the patient, the patient is all right. The patient is having upper respiratory symptoms and there is a problem with the penetration. So if the penetration is not good, you would see opacity and you can label the patient with pneumonia. You can patient label with uh, COVID pneumonia, bilateral peripheral opacity, but that most of the time the problem with the penetration. If your inspiration is not good, if your inspiration is not good, you can label the patient with cardiomegaly and label the patient as CCF and label the patient as CCF and exposure is also among the prerequisite of a chest x-ray. So you are having the rotation, the pillow should not be rotated, point number one. Point number two, the film should be inspiratory, that is the full inspiratory film. So you can, you can appreciate six to eight posterior ribs. You can appreciate six to eight posterior ribs. If you cannot appreciate these ribs and the diaphragms are like this, they are more, more convex like this. So this is the poor inspiratory film. So what is expected in a poor inspiratory film? Cardiomegaly, point number one, point number two. In poor inspiratory film, the vascular marking they increases. If the, if the film is taken under the poor inspiratory effort, you can get large heart cardiomegaly. Along with that, you can get the reticulo interstitial marking. So again, problem with the film, not with the patient. So the, the inspiratory film is must. If there is full inspiratory film, you can see the diaphragm that are not in the so much the domed position. Penetration. Now, uh, for penetration, there is uh, not a hard and fast rule, but the, uh, for good penetration, you should see the spine behind the heart. You should see the spine. Let's suppose this is the heart. You should see the spine behind the heart. If you can draw the spine behind the heart and you can press the diaphragm up to the spine, then this is a good penetration. I am repeating again. Most of the time we are seeing only iota behind, but we cannot mark confidently the spine. If you can see and you can appreciate the spine behind the heart, then and you can press the diaphragm up to the midline, then this is a good penetration. Then this is a good penetration. Now if there is a poor penetration, what problems can occur? With a poor penetration, you can see opacities. You can see opacity and you can label the patient as pneumonia. But that is not the problem. Problem is poor penetration. So you should see the spine and you should raise the diaphragm to the midline. Only then you can comment on, on these opacities. Because most of the time we have seen the patients the patient is all right and the patient is having upper airway symptoms like cough, posterior ribbing. But when you do a chest x-ray that is labeled as bilateral peripheral opacities. But when you do HRCT that is completely fine. So what does that mean? That means problem with the quality and among the quality problem is with the penetration. So the film must have good penetration. The film must have good penetration. Now what is highly penetrated film? Highly penetrated means that you can see even the disc spaces in the heart. You can see even the disc spaces. You can see even the disc spaces. And you can 
the black become more black and the white become more white. With the high penetration, the problem is the, the white become more white, and you can see the, 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 the lung markings they fade away. And there you can see only the air. You can see the hyperlucency. The other is exposure. Among the exposure, what does that mean? That means in an x-ray, you, you must appreciate these angles and you must appreciate the angle with the heart, these angles. The cardiophrenic angle and the claustrophrenic angles. You must appreciate the apices and these are the hidden areas. You must look for the hidden areas. I will uh, cover these things in my upcoming videos but right now we are discussing only the quality of the chest x-ray and we are discussing the rotation, the inspiration, the penetration and the exposure. Among the exposure, there is the cost opening and the cardiopenic angles must be visible. You must appreciate that and you must appreciate the epicenter. And you must appreciate the epicenter. So that the end of the lecture and we will discuss the, the chest x-ray further but there was just an introductory class regarding the chest x-ray and these are the preliminary things we must know, we must apply, we must apply, we must apply because even the radiologists do not apply these things and make big, big mistakes. Now, in the rotation, what is the criteria for rotation? So, if you are having, this is the clavicle. These are the two, the two clavicles. So, the spine in between the clavicle, the distance from the, from the medial end of this clavicle to this, to, to this spine should be equal to the distance from the uh, other uh, from the other clavicle, the, the medial aspect of the other clavicle, the distance from that to the spine, and the distance from this to the spine, this must be equidistant. If this is not equidistant, you cannot comment on the hilum. You cannot come in, comment on the hilum because most of the time the patient are labeled as bilateral hilum, lateral neuropathy, the right bulky hilum. But when you see the film is rotated, the film is rotated. The distance must be equal. The distance must be equal. Thanks for watching. Subscribe and share. Thank you.